Hi, I'm Gladys, and today we're going to assemble the Bennington 4-in-1 crib. Make sure you have all the proper pieces and hardware, and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you're working with the correct hardware is to compare it with the illustrations that come in the instructions. Like that. The first step is to attach the posts to the sides of the crib. And for this, we will need four 60 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, and six 45 millimeter bolts. And don't forget the provided Allen wrench. Always use the labels as guidance. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolts. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. And we're done. The second step is to attach the sides to the back barrel of the crib. And for this, you will need two 85 millimeter bolts and two barrel nuts. Don't forget the provided Allen wrench. And as always, use the labels as guidance. Insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. Always use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolts, like so. And you're done. The third step is to attach the top back rail, and for this we will need four 85mm bolts, four barrel nuts, and two metal pins. Don't forget the provided Allen wrench. And first we will place the two metal pins. And also, you want to use the ridge that's on top of the back rail to connect it with the top back rail. The barrel nuts will go behind the top back rail and remember to insert them sideways so the bolt can go through. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolts.
you're done. The first step is to attach the mattress support. Please use the highest position for your newborn and then go downwards as your child grows. For this, we will need four 18 millimeter bolts. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts, like so. In order to make the next step easier, we're not going to tighten the last corner of the mattress support all the way. And you're done. For the fifth step, we're going to attach the front rail. And for this, we will need two 85 millimeter bolts and two barrel nuts. Don't forget the provided Allen wrench. The barrel nut will go underneath the front rail and remember to insert it sideways so the bolt can go through. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. Don't forget to go back to the last corner of the mattress support and tighten it all the way. Like that. For the final step, we're going to attach the stabilizer bar. And for this, we will need two metal pins, four 85 millimeter bolts, and four barrel nuts. Don't forget your Allen wrench. We're going to first place the metal pins, like so, and then we'll insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through, and it will go behind the stabilizer bar. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolts. And you're done. Remember to put the instructions back in the patch they came in. Congratulations, you've just assembled your Bennington crib. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you put away? You're going to need them. The mattress support should be on the lowest position since your child now is bigger. The first step is to remove the front rail and the stabilizer bar and all you'll need is your outer wrench. You're done. To finalize the conversion, we're going to attach the stabilizer bar. And for this, we will need four barrel nuts and four 85 millimeter bolts. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through and they'll go behind the stabilizer bar. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt, like so.
now you have a day bed. Toddler guard rail and bed conversion rail are available for purchase.